Hello, I'm Hala Hanina. I came from Gaza to pursue my third year of PhD in sociology and politics, a few days before the beginning of this aggression. In Gaza, I witnessed seven Israeli aggressions over Gaza in the, uh, since 2008. However, this is the first aggression, Israeli aggression over Gaza that I spent outside from Gaza, away from my parents, my siblings, sisters and brothers, my nieces and nephews, my beloved husband and family-in-law. On the 5th of November, Israeli occupation forced a blackout over Gaza. We outside were not able to communicate or call the people we love inside Gaza. But people inside Gaza were not able to communicate with, with each other in, uh, internally. And the worst is that they were not able to call ambulances and civil defense if they needed any kind of help or, injured, uh, or uh, evacuation. And the next morning, Israel, Israel allowed some communication back to Gaza. And we received the news that our beloved dear friend, 28-year-old physician and bright evening alumnus, and the leader, Maisara Reyes, and his whole family were staying in their sixth floor building in their home when the Israeli occupation targeted them with bombardment 7 p.m. Palestine time on the 5th of November, only for being Palestinians. Maisara was under the rubble with his father, mother, two sisters, three nephews and nieces for more than 12 hours. We were very sad, however, we had to plead and appeal for help for him to be rescued along with his whole family. But the civil services were not able to reach him because they were so busy collecting and evacuating the massacred Palestinians that the Israeli occupation have been killing and, and bombarding in the last 12 hours when they did the blackout. Few hours later, late in the morning, the civil defense were able to reach the Maiser's house. However, they were run out of fuel. Each day, his two surviving brothers, the younger brother Mu'ayyad and the married brother Muhammad, kept on going and removing the rubble using their own hands because there was no uh, tracks because there is no fuel to remove the rubble and the sixth floor rubble from above their parents and rescue them. On the third day, where Mu'ayyad and Muhammad, their cousin, and civil defense and other people were removing the rubble to rescue uh, their family if they were alive. And I was making an interview with the ITV, and the ITV have sent a cameraman to a uh, video tape with, uh, with Mu'ayyad, the younger brother with, with, uh, of Maisara. The Israeli occupation army have bombarded the building, Maisara's brothers, again, and killed the only surviving brothers of the family, and the piles of their killed and murdered bodies was over the, the rubble of their home and their family. The ITV journalist was severely injured along with so many people who were also there at that time. Now Fatima, the only surviving sister, is in Europe and she's mourning the massacre of eight at the beginning and then two members of her family, all of her family that have been massacred together. Maisara Reyes is a graduate from King College London. He studied women and children health in 2019-2020 along with myself. He has just got married on the 20th of May, a few months ago. I attended their wedding. It was one of the most beautiful weddings. You could see the love shining in their eyes, him and his wife, Laura. However, those beautiful love birds have been separated brutally by the Israeli occupation because Laura's husband, Maisara, was barbarically murdered and assassinated by the Israeli occupation. And Laura, the young bride, the evening schooler, has become a young widow. Why? because Israel needs to kill all the Palestinians to expand further.